Well, well, isn't it that time again where I make a video on a movie that came out almost two months ago? Yep, that's me, and I need to sort things out fair and square. Hello everyone, Will here. One year ago, we watched the bad movie known as Pokemon the Movie I Choose You. And dear gosh, people totally agreed with me. Well, not in my comments, but people who... but reviewers and other people. And so since then, the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime has reached what is probably its peak and now we have Pokemon the movie The Power of Us. As you can tell by the title, the movie is pretty great. First, the story. Ash is in Fula City, which is powered by wind thanks to Lugia, which is where the wind festival is happening. And we meet the team in this movie. Risa, the former athlete who promised to bring her injured brother and Eevee to, at the festival. Margot, Mayor Oliver's little daughter who secretly helped what is an injured Zoro Zoro Zero Aura in the nearby woods. Torn, a self-hating and timid scientist who's super nervous and does not want to give a speech at his lab. Harriet, an old woman who hates Pokemon for reasons I will get to later. And Callahan, a man who shows how great he is to his niece, but ultimately lying. There's so much that goes on in this story, but yet still easy and enjoyable. It's so good that I cannot say everything easily, or else we're just going to be here forever. But at the start, it really, really catches you in because the opening of the movie really pulled you in, showing everyone in the city and what each of them do before they come together for the first time. But we're going to start off at the sad point of the story. I know that's quite near the end of the movie. There's so much going on at the start that I can't really put it into this. Eevee was of course captured, but it took time and a lot of encouragement from Ash. At first, Eevee did not like Risa, but over time, it slowly goes over. Callahan's niece Kelly finds out about him lying. The villains ruined Torrin's speech, and that in this speech was ruined because the villains. Team Rocket, of course, and it's like the it's like the Pokemon Company saw my video and I choose you and made Team Rocket better in this movie, making them goofy but still holding up to be troublemakers and the uh, antiques of stealing being more relevant. It mixes well with the story, which of course, as one of their of the things was stolen, was a bomb made by Torrin. We'll of course come to that later. Of course, because of the turmoil that Team Rocket created, of course, the Eevee was injured, had to be sent to Pokemon Center, and everything went downhill. Everyone was sad, sad times. It was what I call the low point. Next day, the source of the wind, which is the reason why Lugia came back every year, has been stolen, which you find out is Margot. So, does the rest of the group, and even the mayor, to then find she did it to save Zoraora. Gosh, I can't even- Play next time! So, recap. So, one of the things that Team Rocket stole fed out of their bag, cracking some time later. So, this is, of course, the bomb, which creates a huge purple effect spore, which covers the whole city. Of course, everyone in the group, aka the main characters, is around with Zero Aura, works together and tries to save the city. Callahan is not there, of course, because he's in the city. Of course, near the story, when we had the Catch the Pokemon contest, Callahan was part of it and of course was cheating, let Sudorodo not get captured and let it roam free, but however the, that Sudorodo kept on following him even though he did not catch him, even after contest finished. In the end, throughout the movie, Sudorodo wanted to be Callahan's Pokemon. Of course, at this point, because of the climax, Callahan has this Gorson Pokemon human bomb moment with Sudorodo and captures it. We then find Callahan finds Torrin and Harriet at the Mesa house, which they agree. Torrin goes back to his lab to make effective Loonberry Bomb, which Callahan and Harriet go up to the old power plant, which was also owned by Harriet. Meanwhile, Ash and Margo help Zero Aura, which at first Zero Aura attacks them, who Zero Aura is saving Pokemon from a exploding power transformer, which of course sets a forest fire. And so Ash and Margo want to help, but Zero Aura, being not friendly with humans, attacks them. But then they, they became a vote against each other and tried to save the area from the forest fire. Mayor Oliver plans how to save the city, and Risa does a sprint towards the tower to put back the eternal flame. Torrin arrives at the old power plant and gives the job of throwing the bomb to Callahan while the others work. The machine effectively gets rid of the spore cloud. Risa sees Lugia, asks for the wind back, and which it does. After that, everything goes back to normal, and the festival continues. Goodness me, that was not easy to write. Okay, the story is super great when it comes to getting you interested throughout the movie. Maybe not for some, but apart from the few bits of the scene, the whole story just pulls, pulls you in, making you want more. The story really is a big step up from I Choose You, since its handling of side stories and other things that are handling better 
rather than just one objective, including sad moments. I forgot to say this, but Harriet has a dislike Pokemon because her original Pokemon, which, which I forgot what it was, got killed in a, in a fire in the power plant. Gosh, damn, that's sad. Now, I know this will be a common question for those who have seen Sun and Moon anime, but yes, the movie handles each and everyone in the group's story. Unlike the anime, of course, and I know a few Sun and Moon people who like Sun and Moon are not going to be happy with that. What about movie 20 also? Well, I can say to put it one word. DESTROYED. This movie has so much good stuff and parts and so much more that makes I Choose You look like a movie that will get boring if you watch it. I still stand by the rating of it, of course, in the last interview, however, it should be known that this movie is way better than the last one. Thank gosh. Final concern with people is the animation, and it was amazing. Yes, at first, on the first trailer, the animation looks very uncomfortable for many, but over time and in the movie, the animation was very awesome. I very much like the style. It's something new, which at first was debated among people. Oh, and the female Ash meme. <laughs> but it grows on you, and how much better the animation style is in my opinion. The music also was great. I really liked it. I really found the composition of it really great. I applaud whoever did music for this. I'm really pleased with how this movie is just overall. It's way better than I Juju. It is a better successor to the movie. The animation is spot on. The music is great. The story handles everyone great. The characters each have good personalities and overall a great movie. It's not a 10 out of 10, but very close to say at least. I really love how much work this movie has had to put into it, how wonderful it turned out. And so many others would also agree with me. That is one of the best Pokemon movies out there. And I say this, please do watch this movie. This may not be the best review I have done, but I can't contain how great this movie. I recommend getting out your money and just buy it on iTunes or whatever you buy it on. Just watch it. And as we go here, please do like the video and subscribe for videos every two weeks. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see ya.